All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back on this lovely Thursday morning. Hopefully everybody's all excited. Big day today. We got the Cyber Expo going on. You got the debates going on today. You got a bunch of stocks are moving today. Hopefully everybody's all excited. I know I am. I love Thursdays. Thursdays one of my favorite days of the week. You know, it's funny, but I've been graphing myself over the course of the years and we journal ourselves uh, and the journals that we give you here at Cybertrain University. I'm telling you, if you use those monthly journals and if you really play around with them and try to like, you know, let me make a journal on certain days of the year and, and you analyze, I'm telling you, see that the Thursdays are probably the best days, <laughs> best days, you know, to trade on. So uh, everything's good. So good to see you, Jerry. You made some money, you made 20 cents on uh, on uh, ALGM. We're gonna check that one out. ADIL has been great so far this morning. Look at this, look at this gorgeous stock. Buck 70 to 230, that is beautiful. You all remember that we traded this stock not too long ago when it ran from a dollar to about four bucks. So we're gonna keep this on a watch list. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the Cyber Expo that's going on starting today at 12 o'clock. And we're also gonna talk about some stocks. Let's, let's go hop on really quick and go over and talk about um, what we traded yesterday. By the way, I told you on Monday, this is a big, big earnings week. And, uh, you know, a lot of companies did come out earnings this morning. And shockingly, like a lot of them, I would never probably trade, you know, like, let me bring this up over here. Like, uh, I, I brought this up earlier, but like, if you look at this AT&T chart, it is absolutely disgusting. I mean, it really hasn't gone anywhere. And I think, it is, I think it's like the biggest move that AT&T has ever had. So, which is pretty cool. Now, a um, couple of stocks, though, before we do that, let's talk about yesterday and what happened. First of all, Snapchat, you know, was amazing. Snap, let's bring it up. So, Snap, uh, five minute chart so you can see what happened yesterday. 15 minutes. So, Snap just literally just took off. It gapped up nicely, had a really nice move yesterday from 35 to 39 and started backing off. Stock is up really big. You can see here in the long term chart. Stock has been having a really, really nice. I told you this, guys, uh, fellow traders, what, in the past three, four months, I said that there's a lot of stocks out there that have not, you know, a lot of these high tech, tech stocks have not made moves yet. You know, listen, you saw what happened with coronavirus, you know, and regardless, unfortunately, I tell this to everybody as a trader, unfortunately, catastrophes do make opportunities. So you have to kind of look at it. If it was 9-11, if it was Hurricane Sandy, or if it was, you know, the financial crisis, the internet bubble, us as traders, unfortunately, we benefit from this. You look at these like, damn, I wish I bought, you know, Zoom when it was at $165. Or damn, I wish I bought Tesla or bought Facebook or shoot, even Amazon. But you can't afford those stocks anymore, right? But there are some other stocks out there. Other stock that I've been doing really well with, I told you this for a while, is Pins. Pins also did great yesterday. You know, it had a big run up. It ran to like 52, but then it backed off, um, you know, about two bucks. And the thing I want to kind of explain to you is I do not like stocks that go up too fast. You do not want that to happen. Um, let's go look at JKS, okay? Look at that chart. I told you about JKS when the stock was at 50, okay? Um, and now look at it. It ran all the way to 90. That thing looks almost identical to Nikola. Remember we traded Nikola, N-K-L-A? Look at that stock. Exactly the same, 20 to almost 100, right? But I would be really careful because JKS, look at that thing. It, it tanked about 20 cents, yes, uh, 20 bucks yesterday. Even Actually, even more than that. Went from 90, dropped all the way down, yeah, it's, it's yeah, that's 20 bucks in one day like that. I got out of it. I was like, you know what? I, I, I took my money as I, once I started breaking lower lows, I was done. Listen, you can't eat it all. You can't, you know, you, you, you can't max it out. I mean, yeah, you know what? If you got it at 90, you got lucky. Okay. You got lucky at, at the end of the day, but, uh, but that one did well. And also, you know, riot, it has also become a very good swing trade. Okay. It's been a great day trade. It's been a good swing trade. Bitcoin is doing great. You try to see how you what stocks you could trade going into this afternoon, and you know, or I mean, trade as a swing trade, right? That obviously had a really nice little push up. Major resistance lows at 450. You could see that right there. If you're in the cyber group room, I, I posted that up there. I said, guys, be careful of that resistance levels at 450, and it did exactly what I said because there was a huge iceberg order out there on that stock. Another one that that did really well. 
Uh, what else that we have? I think it was pretty much it. Amaro was good. That was another good swing trade. I told you about this one too. We traded this stock. We did really well with it. Uh, it was on the watch list yesterday, and you could see it trickled into a swing trade, a day trade now to a swing trade. Stock went as high as 330. That one also did pretty well. And um, I think that's about it. What else? Was, some stocks got crushed yesterday. Uh, GSX, man, this thing got hammered, hammered. You know what I mean? Like unbelievably hammered. And it still looks lower. The stock's been great. I'm going to still keep the stock on a watch list. Listen, I was talking to some of the, um, we have a bunch of new students that are joining the cyber train university yesterday. And I want to share one of their, one of the things that they brought up to me, they brought up, they says, Fausto, you know, cause a lot of you guys are going to, you know, here are trial members. You're in the room, you're new here to cyber train university. And you know, you thought you knew what you were doing until you actually came to a real professional trading room. Um, and it says sometimes these things move too fast. So I just want to clarify something. Some stocks move fast. Some stocks move really slow. So, which, you know, there's different, um, there's different classes of people in here, different on their experience, try to be very diverse on some slow stocks and fast stocks. Now, if you're a, a an advanced cyber trader here, you can still trade a slow stock. You just trade a lot more shares. That's basically what it comes down to it. And if you are a beginner trader, you just trade a hell of a lot less shares. The whole idea is you have to trade. Okay. The key is by you being in the cyber group room, it's all about you to see other people making money. That's what I always tell you. Don't ever count my money. I don't brag about my money. I don't, I, I think that's egotistical of somebody to do that. And, and, and honestly, it doesn't make you money. You got to see if we could teach you how to make money. And that's the key. So I'm, that's the goal is, and if you see people making money, you know, and then <laughs> listen, then why can't you, you know, but it all starts, uh, getting out there. But I wanted to bring that up because I have one student was asking me, I'm in there. It looks great, but it looks like it's a little too fast. It's really not. But this stock was fast. This stock, you know, when you're dealing with stocks like, you know, JKS, you know, uh, uh GSX. Yes. But when you deal with stocks like riot, that really wasn't that fast. You know, I mean, it, sometimes to me it's it's a little bit too slow um snap was pretty fast snapchat was pretty fast all right uh, a couple of stocks i want to just make a uh, couple of stocks came out with earnings last night we got uh lvs uh, las vegas sands had good earnings that stock actually uh gapped up pretty nicely let me just change this chart so you can see a little bit better you can see it right there uh after hours so that stock it did pretty well uh tesla blew blew them out of the water but it didn't go up that much, actually. I mean, it's been doing pretty good. But I'll tell you, it's uh, that long-term chart is freaking me out. And if you guys know that, cyber traders, see a little bit of a Fausto play going on over there. All right. So keep an eye on that one. Uh, what else we had at earnings this morning? So we saw T had earnings. That, went, that stock was doing very, very well, which I think I never traded. And I can't even remember the last time I traded T. American Airlines came out. Earnings didn't really do that much. Uh, FCX came out with earnings. Uh, that one, not really doing that much. What else came out? Also, uh, SIRI, not really doing that much. But the big one is after the close. You got Intel coming out. Intel is coming out earnings after the close. So we definitely want to see what happens there. All right, so let's go through this morning. What do you say? All right, let's go through the watch list. What do we got going on this morning? All right, so we got a couple of stocks. I want to keep it ADIL. We already know about that one. Starting to build a little bit of Fausto flag is testing that resistance levels right there. I don't know. I feel a little breakout. I feel a little bit of breakout. That there's a big, um, there's not a huge iceberg order. There's only about a 9,000 share seller sitting there around 230 right now. I see over here, you got a couple of orders, but there's definitely gonna be an algo stock. 2.7 million, that's not, we've seen worse, right? We saw what happened with Hertz, right? Billion shares traded one day. That's unheard of. That's algorithm that's best. But yeah, there you go. ADIL looks like it just broke out. I told you, I like that one a lot. Uh, what else we had that I liked a lot? Um, you have the BGI also. That stock's up 53%. 12 million shares traded. Looks like an algo stock though. But uh, that stock we traded in the past. Go back to your journal, cyber traders. See how you trade it. I mean, hopefully you took very good notes the way we train you to. So you know how to trade it this time. I always tell you this. You're going to trade the stock again. Okay? And especially these big high flyers. You know, I don't need to go back. You know, you're going to probably see PLS, uh, PLTR you're going to probably pay again. Uh, PPSI. 
I mean, look at the stocks. I mean, I, I could just go down the list. Uh, Peck, you know, these stocks, you see these day trading stocks we traded, you know, three to 14. Um, what else? Uh, did I say the PL, did I say the PLTR? Did I show you that one? Yeah, that was that IPO that went up and down. But yeah, you're gonna be you, you're gonna be playing these stocks again. So always keep an eye on it. All right. Remember this one, PSI. I mean, unbelievable. Stock went from five to forty-five. You're gonna trade them again. Just make sure you play. You roll very good notes. Uh, you won. Remember, oh, you won. How can we forget you won? You won's moving this morning. Remember, you won. Stock went from a dollar to fifty. Okay, uh, we trade the stock back in June. She's moving again. And by the way, she's got warrants. Okay, uh, what is it? Uh, U1W? Yeah, there's a, there's a warrant on that one. I keep forgetting the last one. Yeah, there's the warrant. Okay, so there's a couple of warrants on this stock too. But, um, but that one I'm gonna keep an eye on. REPL, another stock that's moving up pretty nicely this morning. You can see it's a nice trend, a little bit of a brand name, a little bit more of a category three. So be really cautious about that one. So I got U1, REPL, Mara. I told you about Mara, right? Mara looks like it's been doing pretty decent, but it's more of a swing trade. Um, K, B, S, F. Uh, now this one, you know what? She's gapped up about 13%, 1.5 million shares. I might get second thoughts. I might put this on the second category. Now remember that on the second list, the wedding list. You only have a wedding list. You got you got an A list and a B list. So you only you only allowed to marry. You know, like you want to invite all these people to your wedding, and you got the A list. And then you're like, shoot, I want to invite this person, but I can't. You know, I'm running out of seats, and I, you know, they're like, I want to, but not really. But unless this guy cancels on the A list, I want to put him on the B list. And everybody know what I'm talking? The alternates, right? So these are our alternates, all right? So uh, if the other ones don't pan out, we put this on this on the second list. Remember that was pretty funny, right? That was, I remember that people like you got an A list and a B list. They're like, yeah, you know, uh, it's my father's friend, and you know, he, I don't know if he really is going to give me a good gift, or you know, he's not really a friend, but a, he's he, he's a nice guy and whatever it is. But we'll put him on the B list. <laughs> yeah, you got the his and her list, right, right, Grant? You know what? I had the EVK on that list. I took it out. I don't know what happened with it. It was up at one hundred and twenty-two percent. Um, she's not really moving that much. I know it's on our big watch list over there. It's actually the biggest percentage gainer on the NASDAQ market right now. Uh, actually, in the, New York, in the whole exchange. But um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. It doesn't really like it's moving. It's, it's, it's trading within this 250 to 280. There's a big iceberg order. You can see that for 28,000 uh, right now. So it kind of explains why there's support levels there. Remember, guys, got to follow the money. That's it. All right, everybody. So there's your list. So before we go... Um, just kind of, kind of show everybody, don't forget, let me just expand this so everybody can see it. Today is a very, very big day. Make sure you registered. If you're on YouTube or Facebook live, um, we're going to have book map. That's going to be on. He's going to talk about, you know, level four, you know, I'm a huge fan. We use it. Some people like, I mean, like, oh my God, I, why didn't I know about this before? Well, guess what? Now we're going to have. One of the top guys there from Bookmap that's going to be speaking at twelve to one. I'm going to jump on at one to two. I'm going to you're going to I'm going to show you a little bit more about the level three and the level four. How to utilize it? We got Barry Burns from Top Dog Trading, and we got my very very good friend. He's been around as long as I've been around. Price Headley, um, my 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 friend from Kentucky, who always gives me my uh, my Kentucky Derby winners, and you know he's a great presenter, great speaker. So you got you got four great presenters that are gonna come on. So please make sure you're registered, you're there, and you're um, you're you're uh, you're gonna be around for the whole time. But uh, so I look forward to seeing you there at twelve o'clock. In the meantime, everyone, we'll be back. We'll see you back at two thirty uh, for the afternoon meeting. Good luck, everyone. See you at twelve.